Cesar Sanchez here, and I'm here with head coach of the football team, Coach Jordan Lynch. Coach, thanks for doing this. Yeah, Cesar, thanks for having me. Um, so it was a big win this past week. Congrats on that. Your guys has faced a deficit for the first time all year. How did they adjust to that adversity? Yeah, this is a, um, you know, it's a tight-knit group that nothing really, you know, seems to get them, you know, down or bothered. And it's, it's a group that firmly, I believe, that, you know, trusts in uh, the coaching philosophies here and trusts in the system. And, um, you know, for the first time being down the first time all year, these kids never flinched. They kept grinding, kept chipping away, and we knew it was going to be a tough opponent. And uh, all the credit to Glenbar North that came out pretty fast. And we just, uh, you know, we weathered the storm early on and kept grinding, and good things happened in the third and fourth quarter. With uh, two home games down now and one more left to go, how has that advantage really helped out, especially in the cold weather? Yeah, playing you know at Barta Dowling Stadium, it's uh, it's tremendous with the with the fan base that we have and the students that stay and support us. Um, you know, it's a tight, compact uh, you know stadium that gets pretty loud and echoes off the walls, and especially when the fans get into it, um, it's tough to play here, and it's tough to play here, especially in the playoffs. Um, and it's been a huge advantage to us. This matchup has been really acclaimed um, across the city, um, and it's even been called the Southside Super Bowl, which is pretty interesting. Uh, what do you think this matchup means for the city overall, though? I think, you know, we, we don't really talk about all week on who we play. It, it's a faceless opponent to us. It's the next game. You know, it just so happens to be Phillips, who, you know, are down the street. Um, but it's, we're not talking about Phillips all week in practice. It's about us. We can control we can control. Uh, good things will happen. And without going into details of actual play design, how does making a playbook really go? Like, is it a team effort? Is it just you kind of sitting down and thinking of something? Yeah, we have, um, you know, we have our offense and our defensive coordinators. Um, it just kind of gives, you know, what the defense gives us. It, it, the plays change and vary throughout the week, but... Uh, we're not going to try to put in anything new or crazy um, in the upcoming week or weeks, you know, to follow. Um, just stick to our plan and keep doing what we know how to do. And let's not confuse our own kids by any means. And uh, just play Mount Carmel football. Coach, thank you and good luck tomorrow. Caesar, thanks for having me. Thank you.